Okay guys, um, today's project is going to be the combi. Um, I'm not going to do any real work on it, but what I'm going to do is fuck this sun. Uh, let's see if we can get somewhere where I'm out of the sun. Ah, it's still shit out. And I'm back where I started, and here we go. Hello, and welcome to Share Talk. Um, so the combi. So this is going to be a video on how to preserve the patina without putting the clear coat over it. So it's just routine maintenance with my combi and any other car that has this sort of patina. But every 12 months or so, I'll just put a coat of the um, this product over the paintwork and any of the exposed rust that you can see on the um, vehicle itself gets preserved for 12 months. And the reason I say only 12 months is because of the ultraviolet rays in the sun. Um, it breaks down this product and um, you have to reapply it, which is no big deal. It's every 12 months. The reason I like it is it's not like a clear coat. It's not glossy and it allows you to later on if you need to do any repairs you can just quickly just touch it up because this product um, allows paint to adhere to it so the first thing that I've got to do is clean the car because I don't want to have any of the dirt or anything um, being wiped around by this product and um, I'll show the process and then I'll show you the product and I'll go through it with so this guys. is what I'm talking about you can see the roof you can see the rust um, the reason I like using um, this particular product and I want you guys to count how many times I say product in this video because I'm not going to tell you which product it is until the very end. That's going to suck isn't it? So just I need to wipe and give it a clean and get all the dust and shit that's off it but essentially you can see that the combi itself, um, it has a quite an aged look. Um, I like it looking like this. Um, I like the fact that it's got a you know a satin sort of appearance. But once we um, once once we turn around and give it a wash and wipe everything down, um, you'll see a difference that this stuff makes, and it's so cheap, and you can buy it pretty much in Australia at any um, Bunnings hardware. And I'm not meaning to plug them; it's just where I get it. And uh, yeah, it's just a paint product. Product. So yeah, so now we've given it a quick wash. I'll let you know what I use. Here it is. This is a product, Penetrol. Um, you can buy it from most hardware stores. It's only about $30, $35, so it's, it's not much. Um, and it's designed to basically adhere to old paint. And more importantly, it's designed to adhere to bare metal surfaces. So, for example, your rust. Um, so when we have an old car like this, like a combi, and we're trying to preserve the um, patina on it, it's perfect because it will adhere to this, um, where the paint is thin and you've got the surface rust there. It will also adhere to, you know, some of the cosmetic side of things. But what it's doing is it's also preserving the bare steel from corroding any further and if you I don't know if you can sort of see properly up there the roof cops an absolute beating from the sun um, but you know I don't really want to turn around and have to sand it back because as soon as I sand it back if I turn around and we went to look this quarter you can see that there's a, um, a rust streak that basically goes from up here all the way down through there now if I was to turn around and put a clear coat on there all this paintwork would have to be keyed up and then the clear coat put over it and then what the guys do is they then turn around and try and mix and match and get their little uh, rusty looking paint and put the streaks and that in there to make it look like rust or you know the rust marks um, whereas as you can see this is this is natural this is no no fake patina on it this this thing's an absolute shit box that uh, that has gotten that way through many many owners doing various repairs and so forth like that and um, I like it I like it looking like this I don't want it to look glossy um, the idea of the combi was always to have a rough exterior and the interior is all new with the new two-pack paintwork um, so the kids can ultimately just walk around and uh, bump into it and do what they need to do to it and you know you're not going to be one of those enthusiasts that then jump up and down because you 
your 10 grand paint job's just been ruined by a handlebar on a kid's bike. Um, you know, like most hobbies, it should be enjoyed by the family. And um, yeah, so I preserve the patina this way. I use the Penetrol. I've used it for years. Never had any issues with it. It's perfect. Um, it allows you to turn around and um, if you need to do a repair, uh, for example, if the rust just does get a little bit too bad in some areas and you want to stop it spreading, um, you can do that repair and then just either pressure pack it or use a two-pack um, paint, match it up and uh, yeah, then just turn around and um, simply give it another coat of Penetrol and it blends in with the area. Uh, for example, it's probably hard to see, but this, this whole area has all been replaced. That's all new, um, but you couldn't tell. You'd think that it's part of the original paintwork. Um, same thing up with the pillars, uh, bottom of the doors. They've all been replaced, but you can't tell because it all just sort of has aged into um, the rest of the car's appearance. Um, now the other thing too is when you put the Penetrol on there, if you have a white car, it is going to make it look a little bit yellow. So, um, apart from white, this product works really well on literally everything. Um, but you know, have a crack. It depends on, you know, how much you put on there. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to show you a test piece on how I do it. And, um, cause you, you can buy this in a pressure pack. But because it's so thin, you best not brush it, and you, unless you're just trying to brush it into little corners, you're better off applying it with a with a rag. Um, if you try and do it with a pressure pack or spray gun, you will find you'll get runs. Righto. So here's our Penetrol. Here's a soft rag, um, preferably something that's not going to leave lint behind. Um, so we tip this onto this, and then we wipe downwards. Um, you'll see that basically the Penetrol will make the paintwork glossy and as it dries it'll dull off again. So I'm just going to show you how I've applied it. Um, it's a bit difficult for me to try and hold the camera and show you but basically um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what you're supposed to do. Alright, so I'm going for the Mexican look today. Um, as you, some of you guys might know the sun and ginger doesn't mix. So I'm all covered up. Um, I'm applying the um, Penetrol. Now the technique I use is from top to bottom. And the reason I do this is it voids... Um, your eye is attracted to different textures. And if you wipe the Penetrol on like that, you're more likely going to notice all the swirl marks than you are if you're going top to bottom. As the Penetrol dries, the streaks will disappear. Don't try and go over the Penetrol once you've applied it. If you've missed a spot, you need to wait till it dries, then reapply. Otherwise, it will start dragging and um, picking up bits of lint off the cloth and you'll find that you've actually made it a lot worse than it needs to be so if you've missed a spot don't worry about it you'll get it on the second time you go around and do the car which i usually leave it till the following day so it's just a bit and we just start top to bottom Just keep going in the same direction through the whole process of covering, in this case, the door. Now I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the streaks, but they will disappear. But you, you must go in the same direction. You must keep going in the same direction that you started at the, I don't know, the edge of the panel. Um, that way you're going to get a better job. I've been 
So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. You basically put in a um, temporary clear coat of a, a clear primer, so to speak, over the entire vehicle and it etches itself into the paintwork and any exposed metal so that the metal won't oxidise any further. And as I said, it does preserve it, but its life is limited because of the ultraviolet lights in some ultraviolet rays in the sunlight breaking it down because it's designed to have a coat over the top of it. But if you want a cheap method to preserve your paint patina, by all means, do what I've done. I hope this video has been informative. And don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with my videos. Thanks guys. Take care. Till next time. Bye.